Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and this is the Anime Artist Alley vlog. So we are all set up. We are actually in the thick of the con and let me just show you how freaking cute the booth is today. We did cherry blossoms because we are doing our Blossom Trail stamp rally. All you have to do is make a $5 purchase with myself and any of the other participating artists to get the prize pack. So let me show you around. We have our event exclusive spooky pants and I think everything else is pretty much the same. So let's get it on. So our newest acquisition is this square terminal, which is amazing because this means that I can run around with my phone now because we don't have to use my phone as the payment processor. So like this connects to our Wi-Fi and it just makes things easier. So huzzah. We have already turned in like three completed stamp rally cards for the prize. So thank you guys so much for participating. about halfway through Saturday. I think it's almost 2.30 right now and it's just going great. It's been really busy. The stamp rally is doing really well. I've already given out 10 of the 30 prizes that we have and it's there's still half of the day and still tomorrow. So thank you to everybody who's come out and supported us and done the stamp rally and let's keep the ball rolling. So I guess I forgot to mention that I kept talking about doing menu style boards for this show instead of the self-serve. And I was so busy all the way up until Friday night that I did not have time to make them. So the self-serve is working pretty well. Things are selling. These are my last two Mothman pins that I have on hand, period, until my restock comes in. And I think there's like a couple more Tommy and Jackies, but like that's all that I have in stock. So grab them if you can. The exclusive sticker is doing so well. I've sold so many of these today. I think out of 24, there's like five left here. And yeah, sold a couple boys. I have one Nightcrawler patch left. Obviously the Nightcrawler stuff is doing very well. The people of Fresno love their cryptid. Um, but I only accounted for like eight of these, I think. And I'm probably gonna bring home, bring some more home from Wow, bring some more from home for tomorrow. So, yeah. Stamp rally is going well.
con open until 7 tonight, but it's not even 6.30, and what are we doing? What are we doing? Packing up. Yes, because we're tired. It is day two, and we're actually already an hour into the show. We've had a very late start, and it's an instant sale, so we're just taking it one day at a time. It's St. Patrick's Day. I am wearing green, and we'll just see how lucky the day is, because the morning was hot, but I'll talk about that later. Okay, so anime is over and it was a wonderful con. It's always a wonderful con and I have taken quite the rest because I am very tired. So I've spent most of this week 
playing Baldur's Gate 3 and it's just really nice to take a little bit of a break. But let's just get right into it. Anime is the first con I've ever done and I've done it every single year since as long as it's been happening. So I think, I know 2020 and maybe 2021 they didn't have the show. So I've been doing it since 2017 consistently and the show tends to stay the same itself. Nothing really changes a lot. Like it's always at the same venue. It's always St. Patrick's Day weekend. It's always the same layout. It's a lot of the same vendors and guests and everything. And I think I must just be accumulating a clientele because it gets better and better for me. Obviously my setup is changing, my products are changing and like if there's no positive growth and that's not a good thing, but it is always positive growth. And I honestly didn't know what to expect from this year. So I was pretty pleased with how it turned out. And I'm exceptionally pleased with how the stamp rally turned out. Thank you guys so much for participating. Thank you to my fellow artists who you saw in the vlog. And I am just like really eager to do another stamp rally now that I know that they can be successful. Um, I don't know what was up with the AX Chibi one. I think there was just too many stamp rallies, but that was just a weird con overall. I don't think it was anything that had to do with us running the stamp rally, but I'm just so super pleased. Thank you everybody who stopped by and supported us. And uh, yeah, so real quick, here's the pie chart and look at, it's so nice. And that food pie slice is, yeah, it's big because uh, we didn't, find time to go get our typical Lunchables to have during the day. But there's one food truck that I wanted to get there on Saturday and it ended up giving us, not food poisoning, but like we almost immediately had it, like upset stomachs for the rest of the day. And we were going to try to go Saturday night to get the Lunchables for Sunday and it just didn't happen. So we spent a lot of money on food. So we're gonna try and be better for the next one. Um, otherwise, the only things that are, that are up there are the sales tax that I collected, the table cost, and the fees for running the square reader. And those were exceptionally small because shout out to my bestie, Chi, who did their clearance sale at the booth next to me. I didn't get any footage of them and I feel really bad, but I lent them my usual little square reader that I use and I upgraded to the one that you guys saw. And when you use a referral code from somebody with an existing square account to a new square client, we both get a kickback. So I got to do free processing for a certain amount and I used it all <laughs> this weekend. So I had very, very, very minimal fees for square purchases, which is amazing. So yes, the net profit was fantastic this time. And I really needed that because FriendFest was not as lucrative as I was hoping. And I just needed a win after that. So luckily we also have WonderCon coming up at the end of March, which from this point will be next weekend. And I don't have my table map yet, but I do have my placement number. So if you guys are going to be in the Anaheim area, March 29th through the 31st, I think, uh, you can find me at F36 in the Artist Alley. I think I'm right by the entrance again. Like if you're coming in from badge registration for attendees, I'm right on the other side of the wall, facing the wall, right where I have been the last two years. So, and Ryan will be with me this year and we're just very excited to be there again. And hopefully it's not gonna be a weird one because there's like five other conventions going on that same weekend and it's Easter. So we're gonna see how that goes. So if you guys want to see the uncensored pie chart without percentages and you wanna see the real dollar amounts of what I made and spent to be at this show, you can check out my Patreon for $5 or more. And at this time of posting, I do still have my Patreon paused so if you're an existing member, you are getting this content for free, but if you are joining today, you will be charged the $5. But I'm probably gonna keep it paused for April because I think I finally understand what I'm going to do moving forward. And I just need to do some things before I can turn it back on, but I'm not gonna be able to do that before the month is over. So another month of no spending for you guys. So anyway, I have the rest of this video to edit and to get up. So, and of course, WonderCon prep is um, knocking at the door and so is Baldur's Gate. We're gonna see who wins. It's probably video games. So I will see you guys in the next one and thank you so much for watching. Bye. And that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. We had a good run.
don't say we didn't 